Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Peter's Kitchen Corner. On today's episode, we're going to be doing a real quick uh, ultra creamy mashed potatoes. And you might ask yourself, why are you doing mashed potatoes? Uh, the reason why I'm doing a video on mashed potatoes is I saw uh, pre-made mashed potatoes at my local grocery store. Uh, when I looked at the ingredient list, they did contain mashed potatoes. And the ingredient list went on and on and on for about 20 lines of the different chemicals that were in them and I was absolutely horrified that people buy stuff like that. So I want to assure you that if you need mashed potatoes, I'll show you how to make them real quick, real good. And then in another video, I'll show you how you can salvage your creamy mashed potatoes to, so they taste just as good uh, when they're, so let's say, two or three days old. So you can taste as good as they, they were on the first day. So we have one sweet potato and I like to use a ratio of three white potatoes or yellow potatoes to one sweet potato. However, my, my wife bought this many little ones uh, so I'm gonna use them all. Normally I would have a ratio about like this uh, for, for, for this version of mashed potatoes. Normally you don't have to peel the potatoes they'll turn out just fine with the peels. I'm going to peel them for two reasons. Reason number one is when I show you how to salvage them when they're a few days old, it helps not to have the, the little peels in them. And second of all, I'm going to try to make a potato bread in my bread maker uh, later on today. So, and I need them to be creamy and without any particles. Uh, the only thing about peeling potatoes is the sweet potato has to be peeled. That's the only one that needs to be peeled. Be a little more careful with the sweet potato because they are a lot more hard than the regular potatoes. So just be careful not to uh, not to cut your finger. It uh, might be hard to see on the camera, but the amount of water I have on top on, on top of the potatoes is just to cover the very tops of the potatoes, and they'll boil perhaps for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'll poke them with a knife and when the knife goes in nice and soft we'll know they're done. And we're back. Uh, the potatoes are now finished. Uh, just a heads up when you're checking the firmness or see if the potatoes are finished. Check the sweet potato more so than, uh, than your white or your yellow potatoes because the sweet potato does take longer to cook than the rest of them. So why don't I show you how I finish this up and it will be done in no time. When the potatoes are still warm you want to throw in the butter uh, I'm estimating about one tablespoon of butter and about uh, half a cup of milk or more. It depends how creamy you like them. So here we are guys, here's the finished product. They are nice and creamy. They are absolutely delicious. I suggest you give them a try. They will turn out great for you, no doubt about it. Uh, to conclude this video, I just wanna say thanks to either Sandy or Ron or both of them for introducing me to, these, uh, to this style of uh, mashed potatoes. They're far superior to just uh, your regular mashed potatoes. So thanks guys. And that's it for, th for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And like anything on, the, on my show, I shall eat them, we shall eat them. Thanks for watching.